Peter Holmstrom, playing the Dandy Warhols with the guitar. Also have my uh, other project called Pete International Airport, which is uh, I don't know what it is. It's supposed to be. It's 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 my um, uh, just my chance to experiment, make noise, cool cool sounds and stuff. Lately, I've been been trying to. Well, I, a few years ago, I got kind of obsessed with trying to make uh, make my guitar sound like a synth, um, and not like the kind of sort of micro synth style, but uh, more like it was sequenced or um, various different tremolos. And sort of a creature of habit normally, um, but I'm aware of that, so I'm always trying to make myself not do the same things, and with the whole modular world, it's like, I just can't do the same things over again, so it's perfect for me. Um, trying to break all my bad habits. to more just be sort of strumming an acoustic guitar most of the time um, and then trying to make whatever chord change or thing I came up with sound more exciting than an acoustic guitar. And, you know, I, I don't ever know how to recreate sounds, so it's just it's always that instant, like, it's there, take advantage of it, and then it's gone. Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, just a lot of that, like, the way that it was just sort of a sound, soundscapes, but as songs, too. Um, I've always wanted to kind of do that. I imagine I do have a completely different approach because I don't know what I'm doing at all. And that's like, ultimately what I really, really like about it is um, I know nothing. And so it's like every time I do anything with it, it sounds exciting and, and fresh to my ears. <laughs> 